Multiple North Carolina organizations teamed up to bring their spay and neuter services to an Eastern Carolina city in order to help address the growing number of cats. Amarachi Uche was at the Spayathon in Kinston where people were able to get a break on costs. I see it, how it impacts our shelters. I see it, how it impacts our shelter workers. According to Lucky Cats Executive Director Robin Bird, North Carolina is ranked third in most sheltered animals euthanized. In partnership with Community Pets, Lucky Cats held a spay-a-thon in Kinston to help combat those high numbers. The spaying and neutering overall decreases suffering and reduces euthanasia in our shelters. Friday, people who pre-registered were able to bring their cats for the service, while Saturday will focus on stray cats that are trapped by volunteers. Volunteer Amelia Schaefer says trap, neuter, and release, also known as TNR, has more benefits than euthanasia. The money that it takes to 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 get a cat into the shelter, hold it for the for the mandatory stray hold, and then euthanize it is way more expensive than if we all just worked together and did trap neuter return. Plus, it's better for the cats. Bird says the need for these services, especially in rural areas, is dire for everyone's well-being. There's no affordable, accessible spay neuter in Lenore County or surrounding counties, and the need for spay neuter is great. As animal shelters are overflowing with furry friends waiting for a home. In Kinston, Amarachi Uche, WITN News. And although they are full for tomorrow, Bird says she is hoping to have another spay-neuter event at the beginning of 2025.